What's up everybody, Destin Legary here for IGN, and we are doing Minecraft Let's Play. This is day four, and I'm here with Jim. Hey, how's it going? Jim, what do you do here at IGN? Well, I'm a software engineer, so I work on the website and a lot of the functionality behind the scenes, kind of what makes it go. You also work on our server a lot. Yeah, I've been, uh, in part of, you know, what we've done in engineering is we've set up our own Minecraft server. So we've been playing on this one for couple of years now actually off and on and it's reset a couple times as you guys notice some of the uh, things that you've built I think have been you know reset and we've started over so yes I built a sand house that uh, that got reset <laughs> no big loss there but uh, yeah anyway what are we looking at on the screen well so what this is actually we're using a program called Minecraft Overviewer you can find it at overviewer.org it's a map of our server so you can see here in the middle, this is the spawn point where you started. Um, we can zoom out a little and see some of the other areas. Mm -hmm. uh, I think last time when you were looking at the big uh, vertical area, that was actually this. Oh, okay. The glass house uh, that you went to. The This is actually the Pika Castle, which is done by one of our other engineers, uh, is this area. So this is where you ended up last time. Cool. So we're so going to... We saw like nothing. <laughs> so there's some cool stuff on here actually um, wow some of this is new I don't even know who built this thing um, if part of our uh, code foo program last year some of the uh, members built this it's the IGN logo out of lava so that's kind of a cool thing nice uh, there's also another castle over here that we hope to go check out today uh, this was modeled after one of the castles in Valkyria Chronicles oh cool so let's go see if we can find that all right you want to hop into the game? Sure. Awesome. I'm excited. <laughs> I haven't seen uh, this stuff since the server reset. People will recognize this area from the last episode if they were tuning in. Uh, it's actually it's night. Yeah, it's dark it's out. So there is one quick thing I want to check out over here. If we can make it in the dark. Aha, uh -huh. so this is a new area that was built actually just in the past few days, and Andrew, one of our other engineers, built this. Mm -hmm. So I haven't really even seen it yet, so I want to go check it out. Cool. So he called this his little jungle lair. Are those cats? Where are those yeah, cats? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like Andrew's turned into the crazy cat lady here. <laughs> so... He mentioned that he had uh, tamed a couple cats. He was trying to breed them because he was specifically looking for a black cat. I don't know if he it succeeded well, or not. Well, it looks like he has one. It's kind of a mix, though. Boy, they're all over in here. So he's got his farm set up. and uh, Just more farms down here. So what, what does he do with the farms? So these he's using just to grow, like you need food to keep your health up in the game. So mm -hmm. he's, you know, growing wheat, looks like maybe potatoes and carrots here, which those are new items in the game. I actually haven't even seen those yet. <laughs> well, and uh, where do you find the seeds to, like, plant carrots? So those you can actually just find carrots growing out in the world. And then the carrot, you just plant the carrot itself mm -hmm. in the ground, and it'll start to grow more carrots. Cool. <laughs> cats everywhere. Yeah, he's a crazy cat lady. Definitely. Alright, so let's go see if we can find that castle. Um, oops. <laughs> dropping torches Or throw, throw some torches down for a good measure. So one nice thing that actually John did uh, since you guys were here last is he built a uh, bridge through the nether to help get there a little easier. So oh, we're going to okay. go back to our spawn point and uh, see if we can find that. So what's this stuff called that slows you down? So there's, uh, on, well, you just have grass. Oops, somebody's attacking me. Uh, I mean, in the nether. Oh, there's. it's just called slow sand. So you do need that. Uh, let's end this oh, here. you're in trouble. All right, I've got a sword somewhere here. Let me just get out of here. So the slow sand, it literally just slows you down. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you can use it for is you can bring back, you saw some of the stuff growing on the ground, which was that nether wart. Yeah. Um, that needs to grow in that same material. So if you bring it back to the regular world, mm -hmm. you can then grow it out here. So here we where's are your, back in the nether. Where's your inventory on the bottom? You don't have any of your uh, weapons? I don't know what happened to the... Did you, you break everything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
All right, maybe oh, because I'm not, I have not played on this machine before. It's hiding my. Uh, there it is. Yeah. All right. Let me get out of here. So let's go see what we can find. Um. So yeah, this is what he added. Exit to the right and follow the stone path. This is all kind of new to me. Okay, so yeah, this hopefully <laughs> make it through here a little quicker. So, yeah. yeah, as you talked about, as you travel through the nether, you'll actually travel a much farther distance uh, on the overworld. So even though we're going pretty short here, we're going to make it all the way over to where that castle was. Oh, okay, the one from Valkyria Chronicles? Yeah. So, oops. Oh, whoops, uh, I've got to hit the button here. Come on, there we go. <laughs> it's probably because you uh, you had it minimized and it went full screen. Maybe All that right. did something. John's castle. So when we pop out, we're going to notice that we're actually quite a far distance away. So let's see what he's got going in here. Oh, he's got a fireplace. That's cool. Is that just uh, some lava? Uh, yeah, so there's uh, one of the, the red material in the nether actually will burn constantly. Uh -huh. So he actually placed some of that and set it on fire. <laughs> so those are actually just fires in there. Okay, so we're inside the castle. Okay, we're up at the top of it here. He's got a nice view. Let's go see what else he has over here. <laughs> He's got his entire farm there, animals sorted by color. Oh. <laughs> and he's also got his farms going. Let's see. All right. We'll see if we can get outside and get a better view of the castle. No, oh, actually, first we'll go up and. So, Jim, I know one of the emails I got. Uh, a lot of people were asking the question if we have a community server. I don't believe we do right now. Sorry. No. So this one is a private server that we've just set up for use internally. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, that's pretty. The sun's coming up. You're protected from the. Yeah, the, he's got a nice view of the up glass. Here. Yeah, so I, I kind of thought uh, maybe the community could, like, start a server or something like that. And then uh, we'd be able to promote it or, like, hang out in there. I know I would. Yeah, we could uh, maybe set something up for that. Or even if uh, you wanted to have a few community members join this server, mm -hmm. we could arrange for that. Yeah. So they could build something and then you could show it off later. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, we did put a call out last week to we we got a few submissions for uh, fan created worlds to show off like stuff uh, they've created. But um, if you are interested in the, the IGN server, you can email me dlegary at ign dot com. And uh, well, what's this room we're looking at? So this is the main, must be the throne room in the castle. Here he's got the thrones, and <laughs> this is all his storage. This is actually a very cool thing he's done. There's a new. A fairly new item in the game is these frames that you can add to the wall, and you can put an item in there, mm -hmm. and it actually shows what's in the chest. Oh, that's cool. Better than the old school way of just writing a sign. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Oops. Gotta, we can get a good view of the castle from outside. What's that in the distance? Just some floating glass? Yeah, so I know he had a tree farm over here, because you can see that they're actually... All these trees are placed very symmetrically. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the purpose of the glass blocks is. Oh, maybe it's to limit the height of the trees. Oh. So let's see. Here's the castle from the outside. Wow. Yeah. So he spent some time on that. Oh, yeah. This is something he's been building for a while. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I remember in the old server, you had like this crazy minecart system set up that would take you through the whole world. Yeah, so what happened there is we actually ended up, we had uh, engineers from our Costa Mesa office had started the server, and up here in the San Francisco office, we joined and started building in a completely separate area. So what we found, though, is that it, was t it would take a long time to get between the two areas. Mm -hmm. So we ended up building a powered minecart system to get between them, and it eventually just grew and grew... Um, so that you could get pretty much to any part of the server in a matter of just what was, you know, several minutes to mm -hmm. down to just, you know, maybe half a minute or, you know, a few seconds in some cases. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Very nice castle. Well done. 
So anything else you want to see on here? Yeah, what else you got? Uh, some th- so actually, I have not done a lot of this building myself, so a lot of this is new to me. Um, let's go run back through the nether and see what else we can find. Oh, actually, I do know what's down here, John has mentioned. This is his mine system. Mm-hmm. Let's take a qu- Okay, here's his farm. <laughs> He's got an automated uh, picking system for the watermelons. If you watch, oh, really? if you step on this button... Pistons will push those up, pop off the watermelons, and you can just go ahead and collect them. <laughs> it's a very ingenious system. That's cool. How would you build something like that? So, well, you'd have to show what's underground, but there's actually going to be some redstone wiring connecting this button to some pistons that are underground. Uh-huh. Um, and I don't know exactly where it's set up or else I could go digging for <laughs> it, but otherwise John might get upset with me when I start destroying his castle. Yeah. So I know down here he's got... Yeah, I did briefly see this at one point. So this one goes just to the outside, so it's sort of an alternate entrance. Mm-hmm. And this is down into his mine. So what's the craziest thing you've stumbled upon uh, in Minecraft? Uh, actually, we're coming up on one of them. Oh, okay. So uh, I think John just happened to find this randomly when he was digging. He started his mine. Mm-hmm. And what he came upon was this abandoned mine system. Oh, All wow. of this woodwork and the rails were already in place. Um, but what's crazy about this one is it's very deep and goes on forever. So when I first came here, it was one of the times when he was digging through here and the castle wasn't built yet. Oh, yeah? So in this case, it's about three different mine shafts intersect. Oh, there's a monster yeah, spawner. Yeah, so here he found a spider, a cave spider spawner. Mm-hmm. But he's made it safe by putting the torches around it. Nice. But this system, actually, it is goes on forever, and it's extremely deep. And oh. Oh, that's a good way to <laughs> die. <laughs> that's not good. So we'll start over here and see what else we can find. I know there was that new area in the desert that I'd never seen yet, so let's take a look at that. Maybe we can find my, uh, my desert house. <laughs> I, I think I was on the old server, though. I think yeah. uh, it may have got reset. Maybe but uh, all I know is I dug, like, into one of these and, like, started mining. Well, sometimes when you very first start out and you have no items, that's one of the safest ways to survive the night. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I don't think I did a noob tower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got to build the noob tower. That's the best way to find your way home. I think I did, like, the first time I played, I think I did it. Okay. This is a nice little castle. Yeah. He's got a nice little porch deck out here. It looks like he's just started it. Yeah, it must be or just in progress. Another nice little view here. Let's hop back out to uh, Google Chrome and see uh, if there's any other structures that we want to check out. Uh, oops. Okay, so well, there's a village down here. Down over there. Uh, so here's where away. we are right now. Okay. We went so all the way over to that, that giant. Yeah, structure. so you can see the lo- the far distance that we went to get to the castle in just you know a matter of seconds by going through the nether. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What else we got? We got the the code food tower. There's that thing. That's what we checked out last week. Yeah, so the you castle. were in the you came into the bottom of this. Oh wow. So in this actually goes ocean. all the way down. So it's just a big vertical pit essentially. Wow, that's pretty cool. But it has the farms inside and we had no idea that's where <laughs> we were. <laughs> oh well do you want to check out the code foo thing? Do you think you can get over there? Uh if it, it will take, take a while back. to get there. We can go start heading that direction and possibly get lost along the way, but we'll all try. Right. Well, um, one other thing you can do is, uh, seeing you just died, you know, you're starting anew, um, how would you, um, as a new player, start out? Generally, as a new player, um, you know, one of the first things you need to do is you need to, uh, you've only got a little bit of time before night comes, so you've got to find a way to get your first tools Mm -hmm. made, um, which the first thing you want to do is punch a tree. 
Yeah. Until you can get some uh, sticks and turn your sticks into either a basic sword or a shovel or a mine pick. Mm -hmm. So then you can dig uh, out more different resources, um, eventually get to your stone. But you also have to make sure that you're going to be able to survive the night. So one of the first things you need to do is find a shelter of some sort. And it may mm -hmm. just be digging into the sand as you did with your first house and... Um, you may also want to, um, you know, build a small house out of the resources that you've dug. Um, mm -hmm. You need to find coal to make your torches. Yeah, when I played offline for the first time, I actually built, like, a really nice dirt house. <laughs> <laughs> I think and we uh, all start with that, and then you need to slowly upgrade to something better. Yeah, I didn't have any piston systems or, uh, <laughs> or farming equipment. So everything on the server we've actually built from scratch. We've used no cheats, no mods, no, you know, we didn't use creative mode for everything. So every block you see has been, you know, mined actually by hand or in every block placed by hand. No mm -hmm. editors. And uh, when did you start this server? So we originally started, it was actually not long after Minecraft Minecraft was released. I actually uh, saw one of the early videos, which was how to survive your first night in Minecraft, mm -hmm. and uh, really got hooked on the game. Once I saw that it's essentially, you know, building blocks with zombies trying to kill you, I was hooked. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I started talking to people here at work, and they were interested, and so we started checking it out. We said, well, we, you know, we can set up a server to play together. Let's try it out. So we did, and it's really just grown sort of organically from there. And uh, what about this latest iteration of the server? Uh, when did you start that? Well, so what would happen, what we were finding, is that as we would play the game... That poor cow. <laughs> trapped up... <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Trapped up here in a tree. Well, now he's, now he's just like, he wants to end it all. <laughs> <laughs> he's become my friend here, and I'm miserably <laughs> stuck amongst the, on this cliffside. But mm -hmm. as we would play the game, we'd start to build these areas and explore farther and farther out. Um, Notch would release a new update to the game... And what we would find, though, is that we couldn't find some of the new items, these ores and other things that were added to the game, mm -hmm. in the areas that we'd already explored. They were only available in new areas. So what we ended up doing at one point is we reset the server so we could start over and have you know new air access to all the new items. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've we reset, built quite a bit, and that's what you saw last time. And this new uh, latest iteration came, uh, I forget what exactly the update was, but it was back in September when they added some new items. And we had all just gotten back into playing the game and uh, decided to get a fresh start once again. So, so this version started in September? Yes, this map did. Wow. Looks like you got a floating uh, thing over there. You got a yeah, lava waterfall. Got lava here. We're heading towards the water, trying to find the big IGN logo. I don't know mm -hmm. if we'll make it there without, if I can safely make it down here without <laughs> falling to my death. Be careful. Careful. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Navigating the treetops. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's a big drop. I might be stuck here. You can make that little drop. <laughs> I think. There oh, we go. It hurt, but you're okay. Is that a panther? Big jump. Oh, the guy. Oh, the, spy, the skeleton oh, hit didn't me kill and you. knocked me away. Okay, let's run from him. <laughs> oh, it's really dark okay. here. I would. I do not want to be here. Yeah, I don't either. That's let's get scary. Out of here. You have some dirt. Build a house. <laughs> <laughs> the lonely cow. Hopefully that IGN beacon will come through beaming. I know, in the I'm night. hoping to see the light shining in the darkness ahead <laughs> here. For all I know, I've gone the totally wrong direction. <laughs> oh, that may be it ahead. Oh, cool. Can we get up higher to get a good view at it? Well, I don't know what's nearby. I may have to build the oh, new right tower. Here, right here will work. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's see if we can build our noob tower to <laughs> get high enough to see it. Well, you can start to see it. We can see the sign. Cool. A little few more. Oops. Well, not quite high enough. So Nice. I can see it. That's yeah. pretty neat. So that's another one. That took a lot of effort to get uh, all of the lava in place. Mm -hmm. And uh, every one of those blocks placed by hand. All right. 
the safe way to get down the tower instead of yeah, <laughs> instead plummeting of to my death. Yeah. Well, cool. Let's get a little bit closer, and then uh, I think we're going to... I think that's it for this server. Maybe sometime uh, we could show the older one. And yeah, uh, that'd be great. We can show the areas that you've built. There's definitely a lot more that it was built on our previous map. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the community is interested in starting a, a community-run uh, server, let us know, and uh, we'll talk about it on the show. Or on the Let's Plays. The show. <laughs> Look at me being all fancy. We sit at our desk and play Minecraft <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I can't complain if this is part of my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, this is not, you know, yeah, my job like, all day. This is like this is a zombies. rare treat for me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I conned you into doing it. <laughs> Got a nice bridge. Oh no. Uh, Don't die. We're so close. <laughs> We're so close. May not make it. Jump. Does your arrows bob and weep. <laughs> you can get there. There it is. Let's go inside. Find some safety. Oh, oh my goodness. Died from the fall. Heart. <sighs> Finally. You made, made it. it. All right. So this is the Code Foo Tower. 2012. Wow. They put a lot of work on this. Yeah. Guy. So I've never been in here. I don't even know what's inside. They st they're still using the songs. Or signs. Songs. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all the members of Code Foo that this was dedicated to. Your poor half a heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a quick trip upstairs and yeah. I know you got to get back to work, but uh you know, thanks for showing us the uh the old or the new uh IGN server and some of the stuff they made. Wow, this is amazing up here. <laughs> So what kind of rock is this? Is this just dirt? So this is just regular dirt, and uh, they poured lava each of this lava from a bucket. So they had to go <laughs> out to another area to retrieve the lava and pour it here. Wow. That is pretty cool. Great. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up there. Jim, thanks a lot for coming yeah, on. Yeah, thanks and for having me. Us IGN server. And for more on Minecraft, be sure to keep it locked right here on IGN.